I think you should now see the slides. Well, I can't even confirm. Okay, I am Tomasz Weinger, uh, and I'm about to talk about uh, the improvements that I did for PDF support uh, in LibreOffice and Collabor Online, actually. Uh, so, PDF, yes, PDF support is very important, yeah, because like it's uh, used uh, a lot for sharing of like read-only documents and forms and uh, whatever on the internet, uh, and there's a big uh, demand for to get uh, to have uh, good support. And, of course, in LibreOffice and Collabora online. Uh, so, uh, first, I want to talk about a little bit uh, what uh, support is, uh, PDF support is currently in uh, LibreOffice. And uh, we have uh, this PDF import that is uh, based on uh, this popular library. Uh, and what it does is that it converts these PDF elements into uh, like LibreOffice shapes and uh, like objects. Uh, the problem with this is that it's not exact as uh, all uh, PDF positioning we do. Uh, we do good. Try to do good. Uh, uh, good job we did, but it's not always possible. Uh, so it's not uh, always uh, presented exact as it is in the PDF document. Like, it's not uh, possible because we don't support all the uh, primitives that PDF supports. And there is also font issues and there is PDF uh, has uh, like uh, font subsets and like these are not uh, supported uh, so well uh, when importing it uh, like in draw into the uh, LibreOffice. So fidelity is compromised. It's not the same as it would be rendered like in a Adobe a PDF reader or any more. Uh, uh, and a better uh, PDF reader like uh, uh, the the ones that are usually uh, in uh, operating systems. Uh, so, but what you get is we can edit it. We can edit the PDF. We can edit all the text and um, a lot of this is good. Uh, uh, and later we can export it and we have a new PDF document so edited, but it doesn't look the same. So this is our problem. So we have another alternative inside uh, LibreOffice, and this is to import the PDF uh, with uh, PDF uh, which we then import as a graphic object. And uh, because we are using PDF Hume to render uh, this as a graphic object, the fidelity is uh, better, almost like uh, we expect from a, a PDF viewer. And uh, we can import this like uh, in graphic uh, normally in uh, LibreOffice, but uh, what is uh, what we also can do is uh, we can uh, import the whole uh, PDF document uh, in into the draw where each uh, PDF uh, page will be uh, then uh, uh, inserted into draw as a page and each uh, draw page will have like this PDF page uh, graphic. Uh, inserted uh, for the whole the whole page uh, or the whole draw page 
so it will look like we we the, like draw is actually like a PDF to a PDF reader. Uh, the problem with this is that, of course, because they are inserted as graphic, we cannot edit them. And, and this is, uh, uh, let's say, not uh, not ideal, but it's a compromise. Um, and another thing is like uh, this: uh, how we Im how we import uh, is only. Uh, this importer with uh, PDF -um is only available if you are enabled with a uh, environment variable. So now, so we go to Collabora Online. Uh, we had like uh, some requests uh, from the customers they want to use uh, instead of uh, another PDF viewer, they wanted to use. Uh, <laughs> Collabora online as the PDF viewer. And of course, we implemented this just uh, for viewing of PDFs uh, and use PDF um, import as described before uh, uh, to do this. Uh, in Collabora online, we get uh, this uh, by default. So if you open the, a PDF document, it will be opened uh, in draw like. Uh, uh, each uh, each page will go uh, have a PDF uh, PDF page as a graphic, uh, but there are some missing features here, which uh, which PDF viewers have for more mostly um, uh, the a search is missing. Uh, because we have this like PDF gra uh, graphics, we cannot search inside the graphics. So, and another, uh, so this was requested uh, by own cloud that wanted search. Another thing was that uh, they're also in PDF, like PDF viewers usually support uh, annotations and uh, well, these are comments. And this was uh, requested by Microfocus. Uh, so we first try to then create a PDF search. Uh, so how to do this? Uh, the PDF pages are graphics. So how can we search this? This is a problem. But each uh, graphic is still uh, kept in. Uh, as a PDF in a memory, so this that the, it can be re-rendered. So the, the idea is just that we can implement, in, like we can use the existing uh, search in draw. Uh, what we do in this case is then that when when we search draw, we go through all objects uh, and see. Okay, this object is text and then we search inside text uh, to find a match but but uh, when we have like this uh, pdf uh, uh, graphics then we also go with search we go to pdf graphics but normally we just ignore it because we, we cannot do anything with it but we can extend now this search and say okay if you, we discover a pdf graphics then we can just search inside it. We can use PDF -um and uh, we can uh, we can ask PDF -um, uh, to perform the search of the graphics uh, to perform the search of the PDF inside graphic uh, and return result do, is there does there exist uh, a string that we are searching or not inside pdf page so another issue uh, here is also uh, we want to show where, where in the where in the graphics is the string that we uh, string that we are searching but we cannot uh, 
select just some graphics. So we have to ex I have to extend like this uh, 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 to add new new way how to select uh, a rectangles uh, or to draw rectangles inside a uh, inside a graphic object. And we again we can ask PDF you know, just can you give us uh, whatever you found the text can you give us where, where this rectangle relative to the page is and then we can just uh, draw the graphic uh, like this graphic selection sub selection or how to say it. <laughs> uh, okay and after some time we managed to do it. So we, so I have some uh, uh, examples, uh, some movies, some videos, uh, how this uh, search is working. So now this is in like on a own cloud instance uh, with Collabor Online and here first this is we open a ODP document so presentation as it's like draw or presentation or impress it's the same thing uh, but the uh, uh, what is uh, important for search uh, PDF search is that uh, we are searching for if there is a PDF uh, graphic inside. So it doesn't matter uh, if it's a draw or impress. So I first made this example uh, of for searching uh, inside impress, and I am searching like this ABC. Now, now in this case, uh, you see like this title ABC. This is like normal uh, title page, uh, title object, just text object. But this ABC one two three, this other, big, this big ABC and other are actually PDFs. And maybe this is not too clear from uh, from this example. So this is now we are searching ABC and also automatically goes to the next page and it also finds uh, search results there. So maybe a little bit more clear will be this example when we are like. Uh, we load own cloud user manual and search inside this one. So on cloud user on cloud manual is a PDF. So now this is all these pages are actually uh, are actually loaded uh, inside draw as graphical pages. And now we will try to search inside those. We'll try search for the string on cloud and just go through. Now this is the result. These are search inside PDF file actually, and we, we can also go back. Uh, one big problem here is that. Or like not say problem, but uh, missing feature actually is that uh, we can search, but we cannot uh, copy this to clipboard. We find that find the text, but we cannot do anything like copy it, uh, to clipboard and paste it somewhere else. For now, this is something it's not yet been implemented. So the next thing I want to uh, talk about is the PDF annotation. So, so normally we have uh, PDF can have many kind of annotations, but uh, 
inside row we we have only okay uh, I, I maybe show explain a little bit you have uh, you can have inside pdfs annotations like text or note annotation uh, you have you can have like free text it's just text like uh, this inline note on the picture on the right side if you see this is free text it's more like uh, a note but it's not pop uh, especially in a pop-up but inline inside the document and then you have all like this graphical you can uh, have line and polygon and like ink uh, square and uh, circles and polylines and then you have you can also 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 uh, highlight the text uh, with uh, highlight or you can underline it or with squiggly line or strike out and a lot of different uh, you can also add a with a, a graphical stamp and and there are many many uh, uh, types of annotation we 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 don't even support so many uh, so and this is a problem yeah, because we have PDF annotations uh, are many varieties and we want to a lot, a, lot, a lot of them. Yeah. So, um, but in the row we have only comments, and comments are just like note annotations, text where, where we go, and we we have a pop up uh, window where, where where the annotation is uh, annotation text is presented. So first idea is just to implement uh, this text note annotation because this is uh, most common one and most easy to implement uh, and uh, how to do this yes uh, on import we can just read the pdf annotations uh, that are again we just uh, use uh, pdf and see what annotations we have and when and and we read annotations and uh, forward it uh, uh, to the import uh, where, where we create all these uh, PDF uh, graphics. And at that, that time, we, we can say, OK, this PDF annotation uh, we can support and add a PDF uh, out, uh, the annotation as a pro comment. OK, so here, here is, for example, uh, on the left side, there is a, like this a note or pop-up uh, annotation, how it's presented inside PDF viewer. And this is how we can we manage to do it as a comment uh, uh, in uh, LibreOffice, in this case. Uh, So, of course, uh, when we import the PDF annotations, uh, we have like these draw comments, uh, and we want to change them. Yeah. Um, but uh, what to do next? Uh, we all, we also want to preserve them. We want to export them again. Uh, so we can just use the existing PDF export that is already uh, supports that already supports the comments uh, and comments writes like uh, PDF annotations again uh, as, and uh, what I had to do for to get this is that most of this was already quite a good. Uh, uh, implemented uh, and but there were some properties missing like uh, pop-up has like modification date which was not exported and to make sure that this is working in the future i i implemented a test that uh, imports exports and imports so that uh, this will uh, keep working in the future 
uh, there is one like uh, discrepancy here is that the, in comments that we, we don't support co uh, colors, but colors are supported by PDF uh, notes, and uh, we didn't. Uh, I didn't implement this yet. Uh, uh, in draw, the comments are always hard coded. Uh, whatever the. I think it depends on the user uh, username, so so that each user has uh, always the same color. But if there is an another user, it gets another color that is then I don't know in a list. So so this is a, a not ideal. We cannot choose our, our own colors. So in a Another problem then when we get this uh, implemented in uh, LibreOffice and it work, works like for, uh, uh, so we can uh, work with them. We need, I need to implement also this in uh, Collabora Online and we have, I have to extend the LibreOffice Office kit. Uh, Another problem is that like draw in Collabora Online is quite uh, basic. It's not, it currently doesn't have uh, any uh, support. You cannot use it except for uh, PDF, uh, showing the PDF documents. Uh, so because uh, but we, we import we support impress and uh, we need to show impress uh, documents uh, impress comments uh, so we had some support for for that uh, so I, what i needed to add uh, is uh, to to show the uh, comments on a, a draw page and uh, well, the problem is like uh, when you have like these comments uh, you have to send okay I have on this page I have this and that comments and this needs to be then transported uh, via, via JSON to uh, to the uh, Collabora Online instance and this I had to implement, and of of course, when you are changing on uh, on, on online, uh, you are changing or adding or removing comments. Uh, you you have to report this to the core. Uh, then uh, th then uh, there was no icons yet uh, because when you had like this uh, comments. Uh, it was only present on the right side, uh, but not no, no icon was shown inside the documents where the comment uh, was uh, added, or you can you could not move it around. This was all I had to add it uh, later on. Uh, so what about other notations? Yes, this is now work in progress. Uh, I want uh, later I'll show you what's the current state, um, but uh, what is the idea here is that we can support a lot of these graphical, uh, like vector graphic uh, annotation, PDF annotations just by changing the default, uh, default marker. Uh, to to draw a vector graphic instead, uh, depend on to which uh, type of PDF annotation is. Like if we get polygon, ink, line, square, or circle, we can just draw this uh, and get this uh, uh, graphic like graphic uh, information from the PDF annotation and uh, convert this to our own. Uh, another type is then the text highlight annotations. This is a little bit different because the we we are annotating the text itself, and so this is a little bit bound to the text 
ideally, like an, uh, if we annotate text, it would be highlight would be behind the text, but we have a graphic, a PDF as a graphic is not possible here. So uh, we have to compromise this and just uh, have a like uh, transparent rectangle over it, but underline a strike card shouldn't be a problem. Still, there is a problem later on when we try to annotate uh, it ourselves. Uh, when we try to add new annotations. So this is now uh, the current state. I, I have already shown the left side, uh, uh, which is uh, a PF viewer on the right side. On the right side, you can see then uh, in the uh, imported uh, PDF uh, inside uh, LibreOffice. Um, maybe I can show us a little bit. What is the latest state of this? So this is current state. Uh, we already import also the lines. But I have also other examples here. Okay, here, this is, has more uh, types of annotations, like you can have field polygon, like field. Field ellipse, rectangle. Okay, this is freehand, and this is the same. And this is the highlights, uh, so they're also working. Okay, thanks for listening. This was any questions? What is the fucking channel? <laughs> so if, if there's no no questions we could probably move on to the next um talk which is uh, going to be from Ankwar. i have a question sure uh already asked in the chat um is it i don't know how it works but when you scan a pdf uh, and you have images, and then with OCR, you have the text behind this image. So the quality of the PDF is always the same because you, you see the image, but you can search because the text is somewhere in the background. I don't know how it works, but uh, because it's the same issue you had, you can't search in the PDF. And yes, would it be po useful to use something like that? for the searching or is all already you fixed the issue well we searched i like that we have a pdf graphic uh, and then we ask the pdf um library to search it but uh, i think that uh, how ocr this is then a feature of a feature of pdf that you can have a uh, graphic and then like uh, 
text added to the graphic so that you can uh, uh, search inside. So this is a feature of the uh, PDF itself, I think, but I'm not really familiar with this. But uh, I think this is something different, uh, what the problem here is. Okay, because sometimes when I want to, for example, edit and PDF with a uh, draw, um, it's very cool because everything was imported as text. Yeah. But in the end, sometimes I only want to have the 100% same PDF and, for example, remove some text and add there some new text. So sometimes it's, it's frustrated because the quality of the edited document is not the same than before. Gen yes, exactly. Gen gentlemen, could you could you maybe take this uh, this conversation off to the one of the other rooms that we have, like the chat room? That would be very helpful for us okay. to keep everything going. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.